Southern California has a massive amount of public lands that allow off-road enthusiasts the opportunity to explore some spectacular places. And in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 easy trails you can easily access and go have some great adventures on. Stay tuned. Black Mountain is the first trail on this list and is located just outside the town of Idlewild Pine Cove. Black Mountain starts at an elevation of just over 5,300 feet and climbs its way up to over 7,600 feet at its highest point. This easy trail is a 25 mile round trip out and back and you can expect it to take you approximately four hours depending on how often you want to stop and soak it all in, which I highly recommend you do. Along the trail, you will be rewarded with the beautiful shaded canopy of the pine forest, breathtaking views the higher you climb, and easy terrain with just a few small rocks and ruts during the last few miles. There are spots where you can pull over and take a nice hike. There are some notable boulder climbing areas, and if you're planning on doing some camping, there are a handful of yellow post camping spots available on a first come, first serve basis if you're lucky enough to grab one. On a weekend in the spring and summer, you will most likely come across others out exploring this great area. But in my experience, most folks don't venture down to the last few miles of the trail, so be sure to go all the way to the end. This is one of my favorite easy mountain trails, and if you're looking to escape the heat of the desert, enjoy the smell of the pine trees and experience a scenic off-road trail, then this is one worth exploring. Just be sure to check with the ranger station before coming here, as this trail is closed from time to time after inclement weather to prevent erosion. Number two on this list is Sandstone Canyon, which is located in the Anza Borrego Desert State Park and is an absolute must-visit trail if you are out this way. This trail is short at only just over around four miles out and back, but to access the trail you will need to travel along Fish Creek for about 12 miles one way, an easy dirt route by itself that's a great trail. Once you arrive to Sandstone Canyon, you are greeted with towering sandstone walls on either side of the trail, and the further down you drive, the narrower the walls on either side of you become. Through centuries of erosion, Mother Nature has carved out magnificent formations throughout this canyon, and I have traveled this trail over a dozen times over the years, and I still enjoy it as much as the very first time I was here. The trail is easy, however, there are a few narrow sections that may prevent a full-size vehicle from making it to the end, and over the years I've seen this trail change from time to time. After a healthy desert rain, some sections of the walls might collapse and create obstacles along the trail. So while the terrain may be easy today as seen in this shot, some video taken a year prior to that as seen here was because a section of the wall had fallen and now there was a small obstacle. However, don't let the possibility of a small obstacle detour you from visiting this trail. Even if you can only venture halfway down, it's still worth it. Sandstone Canyon should be on everyone's bucket list that is planning on visiting on Borrego Desert State Park. Number three on our list is Mortero Wash, which is another trail located on the far south section of the Anza Borrego Desert State Park. This trail is just under seven miles out and back. However, there are many miles of trails that branch off of Mortero, which I highly recommend exploring. And not only is the desert area full of beauty, but there is a lot of rich mining and railroad history out here with plenty of evidence still standing from back in the late 1800s. Mortero's terrain is very easy and most of the trail is a sandy wash that offers wide open views of the spectacular desert landscape. If you venture out here in the spring after a good rain, you just might be rewarded with a beautiful desert bloom. Most of the desert flora here is dormant during the dry season, but after it rains, it turns a vibrant green and colorful flowers will carpet the landscape. Whether you're looking for a quick couple hour trip or you want to explore for an entire day, Mortero Wash offers both and it is a great trail to explore, stop for lunch, and soak in some great history. Up next is the Gold Fever Trail in Big Bear Lake, California. 
This 20 mile loop takes you through the old growth pine forest of the San Bernardino Mountains, allowing you to explore some of the gold rush history that once existed here. There are 12 designated stops along the trail that mark points of interest from miners and settlers that once worked and lived out here. The trail is smooth and winds up and down through the mountains the entire way, one that is still easy to traverse even when there's a little snow on the ground. There is a large network of trails that branch off from the Gold Fever route, and some, like John Bull, Holcomb Creek, and Gold Mountain are rated as difficult trails, so unless you're looking for a little extra challenge and excitement in your day, be sure to stick to the designated route. There are a few dispersed camping sites in this area, and it's always best to check with the ranger station on the current regulations, but making a weekend trip exploring Gold Fever Trail, doing some camping, and venturing off onto some of the other easy trails that are out here will make for a great adventure. Trail number five is Orflam Canyon, and this is one of the very first easy off-road trails I explored when I first got my Jeep. This trailhead is located in the small town of Banner, and the trail travels through public lands, forest lands, and private ranch access roads. Orflame is just over 12 miles and can be done either as a straight through trail from Highway 78 to the S2 or in the opposite direction, but I like to add a loop back using the Rodriguez Canyon Trail, also an easy trail. This trail was once a historic route for early settlers back in the 1800s, and it must have been an arduous task for wagon trains to make the trek up this big mountain. Today, the trail is well maintained and easy. There are sections of shelf roads that offer beautiful views of the desert below, some rocky areas, but it's all easy to navigate. You will encounter a few gates along the trail and please leave them how you found them. If they're open, leave them open. If they're closed, please close them behind you. Orflame Canyon is a fun half day route that can be done year round and it's also a nice way to bypass the pavement and add a few extra miles on the dirt if you are venturing out into Anza Borrego for more trail exploration. Be sure to come check out Orflame Canyon next time you are out this way. The next easy trail on our list is Mica Gem Mine Trail, which is a high desert trail just off of Interstate 8 in Yucumba, California. This trail travels seven and a half miles one way and is an out and back trail. However, like many other trails on this list, there are several trails that branch off and will allow you to explore further and make a full day of off-roading adventure out here. Mica Gem Mine is not a very well-known trail, but it's one I like to explore from time to time as it's easy access and offers some beautiful remote high desert beauty. This trail offers a variety of terrain from deep sandy washes to some loose rocky climbs and descents and a few small boulder areas. It's easy the entire way, but a few spots will require you to slow down and be more attentive to your tire placement in a few areas. The trail climbs and descends the Yucumba Mountains a few times along the way, and in doing so, you are presented with some views that will allow you to see for miles and miles. Now, Mica Gem Mine isn't going to win any awards for being one of the best trails in Southern California, but it is one that I think you will find enjoyable if you're looking for a fun day of adventure. And keep your eyes out. We might just cross paths out here on this trail because I'm out here quite a bit. Trail number seven is one of my favorites, Burns Canyon. This trail takes you from the Joshua Tree Desert near Pioneer Town at about 4,800 feet in elevation and climbs 19 miles to an elevation of over 7,000 feet, ending near Lake Baldwin. Now you can travel this trail in both directions, but I enjoy going from east to west in the summer because while it's over 100 degrees sometimes in the desert when you start out, by the time you are just a few miles in, because of the elevation change, the temperature can drop significantly. Plus, it's a beautiful trail to explore when there's a little snow on the ground. The thing I like most about this trail is the changes in the surrounding plant life. When you begin, you are in the high desert with lots of low shrubs and it's very dry. Then you work your way up, passing through an amazing Joshua tree forest, and then up a little bit further and you find yourself immersed in the pine forest. 
there are not many trails out there that offer this drastic a floor change over this short of a distance. Burns Canyon is a good access trail for exploring a huge network of other trails in this area, and if you keep your eye out and are willing to venture out onto some of the side trails just a little bit, you will find some of the best remote camping spots here in Southern California. Burns Canyon is a trail I come back to again and again, and I often recommend it to folks looking for a beautiful, easy day full of adventure. Trail number eight is Thomas Mountain. This trail is located south of Lake Hemet and is a 14 mile trail that is one of the easiest yet most rewarding on this list. This trail is pretty much a smooth dirt road the entire way and an excellent one for a beginner. Thomas Mountain climbs up to over 6,000 feet in elevation and then winds its way along the east and west side of the mountains providing views of the Anza Desert to the west and the San Jacinto Mountains to the east. There really isn't a bad view along this entire trail. For as many times as I've been up here, it seems like I still see and find things that I missed the previous time. In the spring, you will see masses of wildflower blooms and in the summer, this is another trail to help you escape that desert heat. I've camped up here a few times over the years and there are plenty of dispersed sites so nice that you're not going to want to be in any hurry to leave. Because you are on top of the mountain for most of the entire 14 miles, there are not many offshoot trails to explore. However, if you want to make a full day out of your trail ride up here, you can connect with the Roush Hill Trail just to the north which will add another 16 miles to your journey. Thomas Mountain is a beautiful, easy trail that will not disappoint. Up next is number nine on our list, the Palomar Divide Trail. If you are coming from San Diego County, this is the closest trail to you on this list. Palomar Divide is another mountain trail just under 13 miles long and is just north of the town of Warner Springs. This trail reaches a peak of 6,100 feet in elevation and offers some amazing views to the west. Coming up here in the evening to watch a beautiful sunset and then sticking around in the dark to stargaze can be a great experience. You can quickly run this trail in under two hours if you just want to have a quick off-road getaway, but add the High Point Trail to the north to your route and you can just about double that. But I recommend you come up here, take your time, slow down, check out all the views, and soak it all in. Don't be in a rush. Palomar Divide Trail is just an easy dirt road almost the entire way, but there are a few sections where it narrows along the mountain, so take your time and be mindful of oncoming traffic, as this is a two-way trail and pretty popular. If you are looking for an easy trail with scenic views and close to San Diego, Palomar Divide Trail might just be the perfect getaway for you. Now before we get to the last trail on our list, I want to let you know that in the description of this video are links to longer format adventure videos that I filmed over the years to give you a little more insight on what it's like to travel all of these great trails. Last on our list is the Jasper Trail located just outside the town of Ranchita. Jasper is a very easy 15 mile trail that navigates through a narrow section of the eastern Anza Borrego Desert State Park. This trail is so easy that oftentimes the park service will smooth it out to allow easy access for others. So if you are looking for an excellent beginner trail, this is the perfect one to consider. Jasper Trail descends about 3,000 feet in elevation when traveling from north to south and allows you the opportunity to get off the grid without having to travel too far east. There is an abundance of desert plant life along the trail, wide open views, scenic sections through canyons, and plenty of places to pull off, grab some lunch, or even set up camp for the night. While I enjoy a challenging trail from time to time, sometimes a trail like this is the perfect low stress adventure. Next time you are out this way, give Jasper Trail a try. I hope you have enjoyed this list of 10 easy trails and if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to visit us over at trailrecon.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out on the trail soon.